I'm sure you felt mentally exhausted. So if you could try, if it doesn't work, lock up. Like if it doesn't work, lock up. Fine. I hope you don't feel sick or anything. I don't feel sick. They show some. Kelly Ray and his wife Cassia spent some time discussing or what could be the the timer in the house, what it could stand for, and Cassia now told him that he even heard something that the housemates are saying that this week nomination is to be those that the housemates perceived not to be up that will eventually be up on sunday that maybe the viewers we know but the housemates we know and kelly was what kind of thing is that uh, that is not possible now that there is no way they will be up and big brother will not inform them and he said that what his mind is even telling him is that ex-housemates might return back <laughs> But in fact, when he saw the television, his mind was like, are they trying to play anybody's records? Like, you know, how when if people want to issue a strike, they'll first of all show you what you did on the screen. And he said, on the other hand, he was also thinking, oh, is it a shout out from home? Is it not too early for them to be getting <laughs> shout out from family members? Well, Femi kept disturbing Cassia that he, she, that he would love to have a conversation with them just in case he gets evicted tomorrow. And when Cassia was like, what kind of conversation is that? He said, just as Delta people, let them just talk one on one. But after that, Femi came to meet Cassia to tell Cassia, please, that this is an observation. And he would like you to do that for him. Even if he's no longer in the house. He now started telling Cassia that Kelly Ray actually cares for you. He loves you. That you once mentioned that the first time he asked you out, you weren't ready. That please, if this time around Kelly Ray comes, <laughs> comes to you a second time to ask you out, you should please give it a chance. Victoria and TJ had a tete a tete and victoria asked tj how he's coping mentally with how the housemates are complaining about mental breakdown how is he doing with you how come he's not complaining how is he doing generally and tj said well in this house it's been tough because he has insomnia and here he doesn't have things that help him on the outside that in at the outside for any time he wants to sleep he can listen to music do praise and worship you know play with his kid with his with his child that by the time he's knocked off and tired of playing he will just go straight and sleep because all those medications that do help people to sleep better in the long run they have side effects who could have thought that dr tj will be struggling in the house as well honestly the house a confined space not easy at all victoria told tj that honestly she's just thinking by the time the game gets to the uh closing time that's close to ending she's just trying to imagine how she will cope when maybe her face will not be here and you're left with people you know you've not really been good with that is definitely going to be a problem because she she's not even the type that will start up a conversation so it's going to be an a very big issue to her and tj said well it happened with him as well that he misses ruti that he connected with ruti on a deeper level that sometimes he will still think oh ruti is in the house but it's now done on him that ruti is no longer in the house he also said he missed uh toby forge that to be forged is his dance partner so he misses him as well tj also informed victoria on how his sleeping problem started it all started in medical school and since then he hasn't recovered from it on the other hand femi went to meet handy telling handy how beautiful she's looking tonight but me i know i know he's not the one saying that it's something manifesting in him and and he was even telling him calm down you know you'll be fine you feel like if uh, you feel like turning up he said no he's fine he's just tipsy <laughs> and still continue with what he was telling handy and even told handy thank you for not judging me thank you for not judging me that i'm drunk thank you for not judging me that i'm behaving in a certain way you know and Handy was like it's fine i've been in situations worse you know worse than this and he was like eh, hey, okay thank you and because he was just basically going around being emotional thanking everyone you know telling handy he's he's glad he connected with them in case anything happens tomorrow that he's leaving that you know they will still remain friends for life cassia and victoria on planning to go to bed only for them to ask handy what's up is you know the whole throwing up stuff and handy told them 
that the room smells of alcohol. <laughs> so other than that, they should just look for somewhere else and go and crash. So while seeking for an alternative, they started talking about their Siminoff task and Kelly Ray even joined them. And they said when it comes to that painting, Onyeka's team deserves to win. That it's crystal clear that Sonyeka outdid herself. And they talked about the other categories as well before the nun went to bed. In fact, Cassia and Kelly had gone to bed and Victoria was still sleeping at that, you know, where they keep their clothes, the the wardrobe area. Femi as well, after sitting in a particular position talking to himself, encouraging himself. In fact, he did all. He kept telling himself, I'll be fine. Oh, tomorrow, I'll be a man, blah, blah. You know, the whole eviction thing. Now, I don't know if it's eviction fever or alcohol, but I know that Femi was actually tipsy last night. Well, I hope after a massive cleanup tomorrow, they will finally learn the meaning of a drink responsibly. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Do well to watch the first highlight of uh, after Saturday night we do. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Sunday.